What's up, guys? So today we're starting season four. If you are new here, man, make sure that you turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload because we're trying to get these things out as fast as possible, guys, because we want to catch up to the House of Dragons. I think it comes out live when? In the spring, I think. Yeah, sometime point. in the spring. So we're trying to get caught up with that. And then we got to do House of Dragons season one. And we're trying to get everything done so that way we can time it to just be catching these episodes live because that'd yeah. be really exciting to do. So, guys, thank you so much for the support on this journey. We're starting season four. We are almost halfway done with the season at this point. And it's been something that I'm never going to forget, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, guys, get your snacks and let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, is it going to chain? Oh, it didn't even No start. intro. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's going down. Is that a wolf? Yeah, like a sword through a wolf's mouth. Rob's? Yeah. The symbolism? No, Rob's the wolf's heads off, so that can't be it. I was just talking about like the show using the symbolism. Is he going to upgrade it like on the video game? Mama, good. Dang it, messed up. Mama, there goes that man. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't be saying that, obviously. <laughs> oh, is he getting a reweld on it? Oh, he's dual welding it. Rain's a castle here in the background. He just took Ned's sword and turned it into two swords. Melted that thing down. And that's the name of the episode. And cast that bad boy. You know what, Tywin? That was very economical. If Tywin dies in the show, bro, he's gonna have the toughest death scene, probably. It better be. Ramsay. I'm still wondering the point. I'm still wondering the point of this. That's new. Marine. Oh, it's another one of those statues. <laughs> so everyone, everyone over there is gonna have that symbol. I guess that means a slave. Right. Yeah, the like free, a, slave city. a free city or whatever it's yeah. called. Yo, guys, let me know in the comments. How many times have you watched this series from front to back? Let me know. Jamie with the cut. Magnificent. Mm -hmm. Looks fresh forged. Where did you get this much Valyrian steel? From someone who no longer had need of it. <sighs> I want to cuss. We've wanted one of these in the family for a long time. Well, now we have two. Two. The original weapon was absurdly large. Right. Plenty of steel for two swords. Well, thank you. It's glorious. Where's the second one? I know he's not giving it the, He uh, kept Tyrion. it, obviously, right? You'll have to train your left hand. Yeah, that little small one. You use both hands. <laughs> that is good. You can't serve in the King's Guard with one hand. Where's that written? I can and I will. The King's Guard oath is for life. The war is over. The King is safe. The King is never safe. How many people in this city alone would love to see his head on a pike? There is a pike. <laughs> I told you I was right. When you go home. Oh. You say you'll spike. return to Casterly Rock and rule in my stead. Like a dog on regret. You are the Lord of Casterly Rock. Jamie said, hell no, I ain't going to that cesspool. I am the king's hand. My place is here. You know what they call me? Kingster. Oathbreaker. Man without honor. I want to break another sacred vow. <laughs> you won't be breaking anything. There is a precedent to relieve a king's guard of his duties. The king will exercise that prerogative. No. 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 Okay. I don't believe I am. Lost a hand, but gained some nuts. Let's go. But my bloody fun. honor is beyond repair. I don't want Castle Rock. I don't want a wife. I don't want children. What do you want? Uh, Cersei. <coughs> Supper would be nice. If you haven't learned by now, you never will. So he's 40. Go. If serving as a glorified bodyguard is the sum of your ambition, go serve. I suppose you want the sword back. Keep it. Let's go. One handed man with no family needs all the help he can get. <laughs> We've never seen an exchange between them yet, have we? Except for one. When when he was butchering up that thing. Yes. Yeah, you're right about that. I could be wrong, though. There's probably multiple, but that's the only one I remember. What are they up to? How many Dornishmen does it take to fuck a goat? Please don't. It's the Prince of Dawn we're waiting for, not one of your cell sword friends. We sell Dawn. Dawn. How come they sent they're you finally coming into play. And they're waiting on the Prince. Ah, here we are. 
Can you read the sigils? I don't see it, my lord. Uh -oh. Where's he at? Where is the sigils lord? he's not familiar with? I am Tyrion Lannister of Costly Rock, master of coin. Are they mocking him and laughing at him in their heads? I don't see Prince Doran in your company. The prince's health forces him to remain at Sunspear. He sends his brother, <laughs> Prince Oberyn, to attend the royal wedding in his stead. Oh, they're there to attend the wedding. The, show the king face. would be delighted Lord. to enjoy the company of a warrior as renowned as Prince Oberyn at his wedding feast. And where is Prince Oberyn? Arrived before dawn. These fine men from the city watch will escort you to your quarters in the Red Keep. You must be wary after such a long journey. So does that mean Cersei's daughters will be there from Dorne? Remember they sent her off? It doesn't seem like they want to do them any favors though. Just arrived at the capital after two weeks of bad road, where would you go? Yo, that's the Joel. Last of Us dude. It's Joel. Who's that? Oh yeah, the dude from The Last of Us. That's right. He's a lot younger. <laughs> we need to get back into that. When did he come out? Soon, I hope. We're watching that too, guys. Oh, look at this one. How lovely is she? Beautiful, but pale. We like them pale in the capital. Shows they don't work the fields. He's way different. <laughs> <laughs> Oberyn. Oberyn, don't. So he don't like that song either? Guess not. Guess now the rain weep o'er his hall. Forgive me for staring. I don't see many Lannisters where I'm from. I don't see many Dornishmen in the capital. You don't like the smell. Come with me, lover. Gods, look at this one. Why are you wasting a woman like this on a Dornishman? Situation just escalated, didn't it? You know why all the world hates a Lannister? Oh, so the Dornish people don't like the Lannisters. Not even at all. Gold lions make you better than everyone. You're not a golden lion. You're just a pink little man who's <laughs> far too slow on the draw. <laughs> oh. Once when I pull my blade, your friend starts bleeding quite a lot, I'm afraid. So many veins in the wrist. Uh. Get him help straight away. <laughs> Decisions. Prince Herbert, forgive the intrusion. We heard so he just walks in and starts stabbing people? Trouble. Oh, that's crazy. Apologies, my love. <laughs> What the heck? I'm here to welcome you to the capital. Hilaria's son, my paramour. The king's own uncle Imp. Tyrion, son of Tywin. Lannister. If there's anything I can do to make your stay in King's well, Land. What are you, his hired killer? I started that way, I. Now I'm a knight. How did that come to pass? Killed the right people, I suppose. It's <laughs> <laughs> Oberyn, if I may a word in private. Tyrion is just trying to, like, be a statesman, isn't he? Mm -hmm. This guy's wild, though. <laughs> yeah. Like he's coked out or something. <laughs> His name's Oberyn. It's very great. This is Joel to me. I let us speak truth here. Joffrey is insulted. Speaking as a fellow second son, I've grown rather used to being the family insult. Why did you come to King's Landing, Prince Oberyn? I was invited to the royal wedding. The last time I was in the capital was many years ago. Another wedding. My sister Elia and Rhaegar Targaryen. Oh, wow. Yeah. My sister loved him. She bore his children. And beautiful, noble Rhaegar Targaryen left her for another woman. Right. Ned's sister, yeah. right? Started a war, and the war ended right here. And your father's army took the city. They butchered those children. That's why he doesn't like the Lannisters. That makes sense. My nephew and niece carved them up and wrapped them in Lannister cloaks. And my sister, you know what they did to her? I'm asking you a question. I've heard rumors. Hmm. Yeah, don't so let him blow you up. The one I keep hearing is that Greg Orton killed my sister. Your father gave the order. Tell your father I'm here. Tell him the Lannisters are the only ones who pay their debts. So he's there to basically oh, start jumping. Revenge, right? That's what I'm smelling. Yeah, good luck with that. He's in the middle of the capital. Threatening Tywin Lannister? Yeah, like, right. Like, get out of here, bro. Go back to The Last of Us. <laughs> They did get bigger. Someone summed it up so perfectly the way I feel about Danny's dragons while I'm skeptical. Because they said in the comments, they said that like Danny has nuclear bombs and everyone else seems to have like sticks. You know what I mean? Oh, they're the cutest nuclear bombs in all time. Still cute. Dang, so like one out of a damn Ellie. Oh shoot. One significantly bigger than the other two. My favorite? Yeah. Dragons, Khaleesi. They could never be tamed by their mother. How do you know, Jorah? Because he's got sense. <laughs> <laughs> he's observing them daily. They're wild as hell. Sebastian? Your Grace. Where's Darren Harris? Where's Grey Worm? Gambling, Your Grace. Dang, he told Gam on him straight up. And I don't picture Grey Worm doing that. We'll see what he'll be doing. Rolling <laughs> some dice or something? On a curve? <laughs> That's what I picture too. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> Give me snake eye. I don't even know. What do you what do you want? All right. Sixes? Back in my day, what? <laughs> oh my. What an army. They're an army and all. Don't get me wrong, but they're like a weak army. Yeah, that part. How long have they been asking? They just worship worship her, it seems. So Worm is stronger than he looks. I can see his arms beginning to shake. What's the prize to winning this? Who's that dude? Contest? Dario. Oh, the re uh Oh, they recasted this dude. Yeah, Brother. they told us to look out for that. The last man holding his sword can find a new queen to fight for. 
Dos que me va a la cana, Dario Nahari. Y nunca se dirige más con Doribas, man. Y la anda cocosi. Oh. You know, that's kind of tough they recast him like that because he does not even look I know, vaguely not, similar. I know, they don't even have the same vibe in a way. That guy had such a Sid from him, Ice Age it? vibe and the other, yeah, this guy is like, something. looks like he could be related to the, to the dorm people. Yeah. Could like, I don't know. Buy. This must be right after last season because she's so depressed Have about. Cakes? Well, I don't think you get over her life, bro. <laughs> right, you know. Cakes. Tell her she needs to eat. My lady, you do need to eat. I don't want to eat. If I could have a moment alone with my wife. <laughs> She needs to eat. He says that, Bryn. <laughs> I can't let you starve. I swore to protect you. I am your husband. Let me help you. How can you help me? I don't know, but I can try. I lie awake all night thinking about how they died. I could get you essence of nightshade to help you sleep. You're not you listening, bro. My brother. Oh my gosh, poor how girl. How they sewed his dial's head onto his body. Mm. And my mother. They say they cut her throat to the bone and threw her body in the river. I didn't know your brother. He seemed like a good man, but I didn't know him. Two your bees, mother, baby. On the other hand, she wanted to have me executed, but I admired her. <laughs> she was a strong woman, and she was fierce when it came to protecting her children. Your mother would want you to carry on. You know it's true. Will you pardon me, my lord? I'd like to visit the Godswood. Of course, of course. Prayer can be helpful, I hear. Oh, I cannot imagine just pray anymore. how disgusted you'd Is be at this family. I can go where people don't talk to me. Oh, My lion. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Come here. How many times have I told you? You can't visit me. We have come to a dangerous place. <laughs> have you forgotten me? Do you know how long it's been? Of course I haven't forgotten. I want you. Don't you want me? Oh, she's starting to just become like a liability to him. Mm -hmm. Tense right now. Just what like she things? predicted. My nephew the king wants to murder me. My wife hates me because father murdered her family. You have your child bride now. Shay. <laughs> Do you love her? Love her? I barely know her. She's a child. She despises me. That's not an answer. Of course I don't love her. You try to ship me away. Ship you away? Give me diamonds and make me disappear. What in the world are you talking about? If you want me to leave, just say it. I don't know what you're talking about. I genuinely believe that. Stay? Yeah, for sure. I mean, trying to manage her would be a full-time job. Especially with her, like... Uh-oh. That little... Uh, That's the same should have. I know. She should have got her earlier in the season. She should have just stabbed her up. What the heck? I don't really think that, obviously, guys. Work of art, really. Oh, there's that guy. Craftsmanship is exquisite. Like it so much, you're welcome to choose. It was like they know, don't it? Mm. I spent days with the goldsmith getting the details just. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? A hook would be more practical. <laughs> like a pirate. That's so ugly. Not a mace to your grace, but happy to help whenever I can. I'll give him his thing back, his maestership. Well, don't he perform experiments on people? Yeah, but that was a good experiment like that he just did. Like a mad scientist. They can change. Rather fond of him. He's quite talented, you know. Let him touch you. You jealous? I'm surprised. Never let Pycelle near you. Smells like a dead cat. I'm <laughs> sure I have smell of a dead cat. Oh, they smell like Pycelle. <laughs> Drink more than you used to. Yes. Why? You started a brawl in the streets with Ned Stark and disappeared from the capital. My husband died in a tragic hunting accident. We suffered through a siege. Well, a short siege. Rather a short siege that I didn't expect to survive. And now I'm marrying my eldest son to a wicked little bitch from Highgard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm supposed to marry her brother, a renowned pillow biter, so... He's a pillow biter. <laughs> he can't disown you. You're all he's got. You're forgetting Tyrion. You don't really plan on staying in the King's Guard, do you? Staying? In the king's guard means I live right here. I like his haircut though. Not now. I want. When? She said, get off me, you one-handed ass. <laughs> Something's changed. Everything's changed. You come back after all this time with no apologies in one hand and expect everything to be the same. What do you want me to apologize for? For leaving me. You think I wanted to be taken prisoner? I don't know what you wanted. You weren't here. You left me. Alone. I murdered people so I could be here with you. It took too long. Dang. Right. What are you saying? He really tried. It took too long. Go he away. lost a hand. Yeah, but Jamie's 40. Forgive me, Your Grace. He's got to know. You told me to come at once if there was anything important. <gasps> you? Mm. Jamie, you've known her too long to not recognize she's a straight snake. You're too naive, bro. Dang, the precision. You plan on killing all the crows yourself? You plan on sitting here scratching your balls till winter? <laughs> Wait for Manza's orders. If he's not back yet, he's not coming back. You're pretty crows that a thousand men on us. Yeah, well, he's a liar. Shouldn't it be he was? You said you put three arrows in him. Yeah, I did. I've seen you slip a chef through a rabbit's eye at 200 so yards. So she <laughs> meant to miss. Walking. She's an Indian outlaw, huh? It's because you let him go. <laughs> I know what a sweet little sound that came out of that guy, right? <laughs> Sounded beautiful. 
Yo, these are some real freaking wildlings right here. They're like the mobster wildlings. Whoa. They're like the Russian wildlings. Man sent you. How did you find us? It's all my Russian people, man. That's all uh, my now sensitive y'all can be. Not Russian people, but people in the general. South, not the North. Took a detour. Help yourself. <laughs> Maybe everything's just better fed down here. <laughs> Fat and lazy. Easier for us. You didn't see us coming. Lost your war. Yeah. And that baby crow you had with you. Lost him too. So they have a war because they saw him. Mm -hmm. I'll answer to Mans. I won't answer to you. She yours. I'm not anybody's. She said, who cares? I'll die free. Too scrawny. Not like those crows at Castle Black. Think of them stuck in their larders, stuffing their faces with ham and blood sausage, getting nice and fat and marble. I know we've had our differences, Torment, but just one time, before you die, you really ought to try Crow. Ugh. So there's some, like, waddling cannibals, huh? Right. What? They trying to eat John, so they said a oh, baby crow's there. Mmm. Delicacy. They even name dropped them blood sausages. Last time I saw him, he said, next time I see you, it'll be all in black. I was jealous of Rob my whole life. The way my father looked at him, I wanted that. He was better than me at everything. Fighting and hunting and riding. So he just found out about Rob. The girls, God, the girls loved him. I wanted to hate him, but I never could. Dion said that too. Sometimes I want yeah, to too. hate you. You're better than me at everything, so reading. <laughs> <laughs> They're ready for you. He's wanted to hang me for a while. Now's his chance. No one's going to hang you. You've done nothing wrong. John just sort of looks like he'd work at Starbucks to me, though. Just down at the grocery store. So you admit you murdered Corin Hoffman? <gasps> Not this guy again. I didn't murder him. No? He don't like him. You put your sword through a brother of the Night's Watch. What do you call that? He wanted me to kill him. Strategy. A bastard son of a traitor. What would you expect? The Half-Hand believed our only chance to stop Mance was to get a man inside his army. Don't talk about the Half-Hand as if you knew him. He was my brother. And you'd know he'd do anything to defend the wall. The Free Folk would have boiled him alive, but letting me kill him. The Free Folk? Listen to him. He even talks like a wildling now. No, I talk like a wildling. I ate with the wildlings. I climbed the wall with the wildlings. Shut up, John. <laughs> yeah, just stop, bro. a wildling girl. Like, why'd oh, you have to say that part, God, you know? God. You admit to breaking your vows, then. Yes, dummy. The law is the law. The boy must die. Hold on, hold on. If we headed every ranger who lay with a girl, the wall would be manned by headless men. There's a difference between sneaking off to the Molestown brothel and sleeping with the enemy. Yeah, that's facts too, though. While we sit here, define enemy. Which rules I broke? Mance Raider marches on the wall with an army of a hundred thousand. Impossible. You can't get fifty wildlings together before they start killing each other. Well, I mean, they did jump the wall and kill their horse breeder. The nice the Thens, the Hornfoots, the Ice River clans, the S Giants fighting for it. Giants. There's a band of wildlings south of the wall already, led by Tormund Giant Spain. I killed their warg and three others. They shot me full of arrows. The orders are to attack. The signal for the attack will be a bonfire. Mance said it would be the greatest fire the North has ever seen. So he betrayed the wildlings. The truth. All the truth. I told you John's playing that fence. He's trying to fit in where he can. to execute me, or am I free to go? None of us are free. We are men of the Night's Watch. But what a loyalist. I you're taking your head today, John Snow. Is he still a steward, or is he a ranger now, though? <laughs> he told the truth. You always know when a man is telling a lie. How did you acquire this magical power? I grew up in King's Landing. <laughs> he knows the liars. Right, yeah. I would be like, that's what this chain's no, for, my boy. No, you're a queen, not an ox. <laughs> Your grandfather gave me a necklace, just like this one, my 51st name day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the wedding is in a fortnight, Grandmother. You can't say no to everything. Go and speak to the jewelers of King's Landing. Tell them who sent you. What a cool grandma. The Marjorie Terrell who walks into <laughs> the <laughs> Taxpayer dollars, though, I'm just getting thrown overboard. Would inspire a thousand songs. Perhaps I should just let Joffrey choose it for me. End up with a string of dead sparrow heads around my neck. You'll watch that. <laughs> even here, even with me. My word. My lady. <laughs> my lady. <laughs> Please pardon me for interrupting. Really? My name is Brian Tom. We know who you and are. I... We've heard all about you. But... Hearing is one thing. Aren't you 
Just marvellous. <laughs> She's <laughs> no one. <laughs> My lady, I know this is a very busy time for you, but if I could just have a moment, you dare not refuse. Is she gonna say, "I'll fight for you, ma'am"? Shadow. She remembers her Shadow from Renly. The face of Stannis Baratheon. I hope she don't, because that's I just too much. By all the gods. He plunged his sword through Renly's heart. One day, my lady, I will avenge our king. Joffrey is our king now. I meant no offense. And you've given none. Oh, she's trying to help her out. Mm. You saw that? <laughs> oh, bro, you gotta be... <laughs> no. All the king's god will be on duty. Of <laughs> stationed here. He's just admiring <laughs> that. always guarded the king himself. Such a boy. Lord, ever since your absence. And I thank you for it, sir. All very good. I don't expect any trouble. People love their king. They know who keeps them fed. Marjorie Tyrell, I've heard. They know I saved the city. They know I won the war. The war's not <laughs> won. But while Stannis lives. I broke Stannis on the Blackwater. Pity you weren't there to help, Uncle. My apologies. You were in your chambers. <laughs> I was rather busy. Busy getting captured. Yeah, your mama called you too. <laughs> so this is the famous Book of Brothers. All the great deeds of all the great kings go out, huh? It's Arthur Dane. <laughs> the sword of the morning. One thing I do admire, though, is they care about, like, history and stuff in this world. It actually matters to them. Joffrey does, too. Well, yeah, because it's mm -hmm. their culture, like, in this world. They have a book of all the good deeds of the Kingsguard. That's crazy. being quite a man. So they say. And they know all the drama from the past. <laughs> so Jamie Lannister. Oh. <laughs> Someone forgot to write down all your great deeds. There's still time. <laughs> is there? For a 40-year-old knight with one hand? How can you protect me with that? I use my left hand now, you agree. Makes for more of a contest. That's his son, too, and he's sitting there. I know. You should be slapping him like Terry. Does Jamie know that's his son? Hold on. Let me admire this drum on the screen. Oh, he didn't even want to Oh, he shut it. the book. Yeah, he's he disgusted. From his perspective, like, that book should be full. No, he knows. Well, he might know. They say a thousand slaves died building the Great Pyramid of Marine. And now an army of former slaves is marching to her gates. You think the Great Masters are worried? If they're smart. You were told to ride at the back of the train. But I need to speak to you about something important. Matter of strategy. Whoa. All right, what is this matter of strategy? Would you like to walk at the That's back so of the cool. train instead of riding? And this one's called Lady's Lace. Would you like to walk without shoes? <laughs> you have to know a land to rule it. Dusk grows tea, eases fever. Everyone in Marine knows that. If you want them to follow you, you have to become a part of their world. Strategy. Harpy's gold. No tea from this one. Beautiful, but poisonous. Might be valuable. You are America. A gambler, aren't you? Mm, I don't know, man. Where's Jorah? He's gonna be pissed. She's like, I don't know. After this recast, I might be feeling it. <laughs> He's a lot less touchy. Is that a child? Pointing in the direction of where to go. There's one on every mile marker between here and Marine. How many miles are there between here and Marine? Oh, jeez. 163, Your Grace. I'll tell our men to ride ahead and bury them. You don't need to see this. You will do no such thing. I will see each and every one of their faces. Remove her collar before you bury her. Oh, she's breaking the chains. I feel bad for who's got to dig that hole, boys. Jeez. 163 of them. They don't even got shovels. They got sickles. You made a promise. To return the Stark girls to their mother, who is now dead. To keep them safe. Well, Arya Stark hasn't been seen since her father was killed. What do you think she is? My money's undead. There's a certain safety in death, wouldn't you say? And Sansa Stark is now Sansa Lannister. It's a complication. Complication does not release you from a vow. What do you want me to do? Kidnap my sister-in-law and, and take her where? Where will she be safer than here? Me in the eye and tell me that you think she'll be safe in King's Landing. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of safe, but... Are you sure? We're not related. Ever since I returned, every Lannister I've seen has been a miserable pain in my ass. <laughs> <Lannister too. laughs> not the looks. They're like kind of friends now, like kind of like that. I mean, they'd have to have some type of kinship at this point. They've been riding, huh? It's all right. Oh, it's the... It's a guy that yeah. she spared at the thing. They showed us him in the recap. Oh, and he's still drinking. I have good reason to be. Once I was a knight, and now I'm only a fool. <sighs> Dontos, for the king's name day celebration. I'm I'm sorry, I should have remembered. I can't accept your apology. I may be a fool. Anyone would have done the same. But only you did. I can never repay you. You gave me my life. But this is, is worth more than my life. It belonged to my mother and her mother before her. House Hollard was strong once. House on the rise, left of those days. Oh. A few sad, fat drunks like me. Well, do better, bro. Jeez. I can't take it. It's very, very kind of you, but I, I can't. I don't have anything else left. Take it, wear it. Let my name have one more moment in the sun before it disappears from the world. You think he's being genuine or is he set I to do this? I 
really don't know. He just came out of nowhere. That's the only reason I'm skeptical. Because I trying felt, to give his whole fortune away. Right. I feel genuine about that he saved her life. If he's that passionate about things, that she saved his life. Have, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. do better. No. These kids. When am I going to get a horse of my own? The little lady wants a pony. The little lady wants away from your stench. Horses aren't easy to come by, even if they were. I think I'm going to put you on your own horse. So you can ride away. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have any money? Didn't you steal anything from Joffrey before you left? No. You're not very smart, are you? <laughs> I'm not a thief. You're fine with murdering little boys, but thieving is beneath you. Right. Man's got to have a code. <laughs> you think I'm going to escape? Where would I go? I'd be dead by nightfall without you. My family's gone. I've got no one. Mm. You've got an aunt in the veil. After I sell you to her, maybe she'll have enough left over to buy. Oh no, little finger is going to be there. And that's where that terrible little boy's at, right? I'm hungry. Mm. Mm. He's You're still hungry. breastfed, probably the, at this moment. Five men. I know him. The small one. His name is Pulliver. Oh, is that the she guy wants to kill him. the torturing stuff? Mm -hmm. Harrenhal, right? With the rats. Yeah, she wants to kill him. Remember, she added him to the name, to the, the list. Salami? He was my friend. Pulliver stole my sword and put it right through his neck. He still got it. What horn? My sword. Oh, she named your sword. Lots of people <laughs> name their swords. Lots of cunts. <laughs> <laughs> like how some people will be backing up in the parking spots. <laughs> oh, you get back. My brother gave me that sword. He killed my friend. I don't care if he ate your friend, but not going in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they just busted in there? Oh, they had to. He opened the door. <laughs> Probably was about to snatch him out. They do. Oh, it's like a public place. <laughs> <laughs> like a Wendy's. <laughs> Please. She's a good girl. Shut your mouth and pour us more ale. We may not take it with us when we're done with her. I know you. You better keep your mouth shut, bro. You're the hound. Oh, it wasn't even Arya. <laughs> Celeb. What brings you so far north? What are you doing up here? Just keeping the king's peace. No, it's over. Stannis defeated at the Blackwater. Rob Stark killed at the twins. And where am I for all of it? Stuck with your brother. Meaning no offense. None taken. Best at what he does, but <laughs> you spend enough time putting the hammer to people, you start to feel like a carpenter making chairs. And what's life about a little fun? <laughs> She's all right. I've had better. <laughs> you should come with us. He's kind. They've always got something hidden away somewhere. Gold, silver, more daughters. Always <laughs> something if you know how to make them talk. And there's plenty of in between here and King's Landing. Arya's fantasizing right now, is she? Mm -hmm. You gotta take me to all. Think about it. We can do whatever we like. Wherever we go, these are the king's colors. No one's standing in his way now, which means no one's standing in ours. What about Stannis? Fuck the king. <laughs> here we go. <clears throat> I love that he boldly says that. <laughs> I heard that Joffrey's dog had tucked tail and run from the Battle of the Blackwater. Bring me one of those chickens. You got money to pay for it. You paid for it. <laughs> but we're the king's men. So, mm -hmm. you got money? Not a penny. I'll still take that chicken. We'll trade you. One of our little chickens for one of yours. You better hush your mouth, bro. Give us a go at your That friend. girl will stab you. Oh, he could do this because he needs gold really bad. You're a talker. Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. Man, you should have attacked him before he finished that drink, bro. And hungry. Think I'll take two chickens. <laughs> you don't seem to understand the situation. I understand that if any more words come pouring out your cunt mouth, I'm gonna have to eat every fucking chicken in this room. You lived your life for the king. You're gonna die for some chickens. Someone is. Mm -hmm. Come on, Arya. Grab needle. I know. It's your chance. Oh, they're getting them. Come on, Arya. I know. You like Ellie did on The Last of Us. Ah. Ah. Not the eyes. Oh my gosh. Ooh, so Arya's like that, huh? She's about it. Is she about to take him on now? That's one off the list, boys. Something wrong with your leg, boy. What? What, what oh, she's mean? a psycho with it too. Can you walk, fine little blade. Maybe mm. I'll pick my teeth with it. That's what he said, didn't he? Oh, he remembers. <sighs> oh my! Mm. Do you hear this music in the background? Yeah, and like, don't get me wrong, man. They deserve all <laughs> of it, but at the same time, I hate seeing Arya take this path. You know what I'm saying? Because she's just a sweet little girl. So, but, but the hey, times have hardened her. Yeah, hundred percent. And she got her own horse. She graduated. Good job, little G. Oh, no. 
All right, guys, what a way to kick off the season, man. So, baby, let's break down this episode. So, Jamie and Cersei are sitting there. Jamie's trying to slide up, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to <laughs> he's trying to get all up in that perimeter, but Cersei's not really feeling it. And it's like I said in the previous episodes, man, Jamie used to be one of the greatest warriors. And you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And Cersei was really about that. But now Jamie's essentially kind of a crippled, right? Yeah. And Cersei seems to be someone to mock that sort of thing right. very openly. And if she's going to sit there and basically be with Jamie, she's going to have to bite her ego. And you mm -hmm. know, Cersei, like, she loves that ego, boy. So, crazy way to start off the episode. Arya is a straight killer. Um, I know what you guys are going to say. They deserve it. And I get that. I'm 100% with Arya. I'm just saying, I hate seeing her go down the path of becoming like a little hound. Because at the end of the day, she's man, like, like John Wick. She has like a list. Yeah, she's like an assassin. And she has a coin. Point. Like, she's like John Wick. This show's kind of. This show is kind of just pushing me off into another direction. We go north of the wall, and just when I thought things couldn't get weirder with like giants and stuff, they made Thorin. What's his name? Thorin. Thor Thorin. Thorin. Right. They made Thorin look like a little boy out there. The mother dudes who came walking up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was pretty crazy. So things are going down. John almost got decapitated and lost his head. Well, they said they were going to die, but in this world, that means decapitation for the most part. Yeah. Right. Especially in Westeros. But hey, uh, shoot, man. I don't know. I don't even know what to say at this point. Like he, he got away with it. Um, Tywin at the beginning also took uh, Ned sword ice and made it into two. We didn't see where the other one went, but we know one went to Jamie. Which is just a cold opening yeah. for the ages, man. I mean, just so good. Because it's just kind of showing like his lack of like, he does not, he... I D G A F about the start. Yo, the thing that That's really, what it is. yeah, he's saying bump the starts, bro. Yeah. I remember the little how they did forever, forever young. <laughs> yeah, forever young. Mm -hmm. Um, guys, basically the biggest takeaway to me in this whole entire episode, if I can be honest with y'all, was Tommy Lannister made the the statement that Stannis was defeated at the Blackwater, and when he said that, I'm just like, oh, I don't know, man. Don't discount my boy Stannis. He's working with the Red Woman. Right? Yeah, and they kind of just like like. They think they Tywin won. is too seasoned to be so naive, right? I mean, obviously, we have insight that he doesn't share because we're watching it from like a higher dimension in a way because it's a TV mm -hmm. show. But you would imagine Tywin Lannister would not rest and he would not take his foot off the throttle until he saw Stannis Brack right. in his head. If, you know, you know what, what, what we need to do is pay but, attention to if he's writing a lot because I noticed last season he was writing, sending letters the whole time. Yeah, you guys let us know that. that right. Had, that's the thing, though, guys. I'm not sure if we could have predicted the demise of Rob and Catelyn. No, I couldn't have. Could we have? predicted it had we have, like if we would have seen the show previously could we have could we rewatch it and see the clues and put it together probably so probably right. so. we probably could but even looking back on it seeing him writing all the time was was a clue but it wasn't a clue because we didn't really know where he was sending any of those but yeah. we just know he's handed the king so he could be dealing with any affairs and then someone was saying? saying like rob's wife was a spy sent by so when someone said that, that was the whole theory right yeah someone's theory and guys i thought that was an interesting theory was someone said that they thought rob's wife could have been a spy and i know a lot of people are going to disprove that but the theory they said was kind of interesting because she was kind of like a mystery you know you know yeah i mean she popped out of nowhere <laughs> and it's you know it's really unbelievable to me that someone could come out of nowhere just happen to possess like I don't know, like, dude, if I'm sitting there leading an army, just because some woman looks a certain way, I'm not about to sit there and just let her that close to me. I don't know. That was a little naive. Right. To I don't me, think she would have got herself stabbed up, but I mean, you never know. A spy could easily be like, you know, a casualty as well. Let me just say one thing, guys. With that being said, so as we've went on this journey, um, the thing is, there's the official story, right? And then there is speculation. There are fans who come together and they put things together, and you know, even our, our the guy who made the show, right, R. R. Martin. Maybe, George you know, R. R. just R. R. like a really good example would be in like the Lord of the Ring movies, right? They're like, yo, the stuff they smoke isn't weed. They just call it like Shire weed or whatever. And they're like, I know for a fact it's not that. It's not supposed to be that because even the Arthur of or even the guy who made it, R. R. J. R. Tolkien, he said that it's not. But, dude, that doesn't mean it's not. Right. Like, it's just not no, good for no business. No matter what y'all say, like, yeah, it, it is very weed. Implied, I love you know weed. Yeah, I'm J.R. Tolkien, and I love weed. I love to just put it all in my... He's not going to say that. So, obviously, you just got to use your own judgment. But with all that being said, man, I'm basically just trying to make the point that it's sort of up to us to interpret it, how we interpret it. But I do understand there's, like, always, like, the main narrative, just like in the Lord of the Rings, it wasn't weed. But everyone with a brain knows that they're smoking it and giggling, dude. Like, there's definitely an implication there. And if you're denying that, you're just not being... I don't really know what you got going on, bro, but they're implying it. And there's a lot of things in the show that can be implied, but I just wanted to basically say, because I know how passionate people can get, that just because someone offers us a fringe theory and it makes a lot of sense and it's fun, we're not going to like pretend that it is like correct, right? Theories are just theories, and the only thing that I can really say is the main story is what they present in the show. So mm -hmm. with that being said, man, because there are so many fun little things, and I get hesitant to say them on the channel, right? because I don't want people to be like, that's not true. This, uh, I'm not getting distracted from the main story is what I'm trying to say. Mm. You ready? Mm -hmm. The Lion and the Rose.
I'm and it's got hoping, Joffrey on it looking crazy. I'm hoping this is the wedding episode. Oh, yeah, the grandma. Because, yeah, because that's what it sounds like. Don't tell me Ramsey's like a torturer with a soft spot for dogs. I swear. He like loves his dogs to death. Whoa, he's got Theon running around. At least he's not chained up there. Right. Who the heck is Tansy? What is he doing? Hunting down a girl? If you make it out of the woods, you win. That's some Richard Baker type stuff. The dog will be a problem. Oh my gosh. No one has to be mad at these dogs. I don't like this. Ooh. Sean Payton's out there. So many people want to get it. Like me. Down, down. I'm going for them ankles. Well there. done. Fine shot. Wasn't it, Reek? Fine shot, master. Lady. Oh. Don't cry. She thinks she's pretty. Let me put one through her face. We have to reward the hounds now. Why? So that girl really was evil. Made she wasn't just doing what. Right. Oh, wow. Huh? She was the septum girl. Dropout. And the one who was teasing Theon. <laughs> Rip her. That's so pretty now. I mean, that's the life you wanted, Theon. I mean, you didn't want to be on that part of it, but you wanted that life. Your new hunt is nicer than the old one. Is it solid gold? Gilded steel. Why is no one eating? Life <laughs> wastes away, and my brother starves himself. You lost a hand, not a stomach. Try the ball. Cersei can't get enough of it since one killed Robert for her. <laughs> <laughs> to the proud Lannister children. The dwarf, the cripple, and the mother of madness. <laughs> oh, I'll clean it. No, uh, I would just take that hand off, though. Right, for right now. I put a bandana over it and call it a day. <laughs> How can I protect the king when I'll do bite my own ass? You don't have to. <laughs> when was the last time father used a sword? Trey and then. <laughs> Learn to fight with your other hand. With whom? You? Men talk as soon as someone discovers I with can't Brienne. fight with everyone. That's probably what's going to happen, too. Then they're going to fall in love. Swordsman. Save the world. Save the world. I have just the one. Oh, we're Remember so my grand off. theory? Yeah. About how it all comes down to Jamie. He's going to train with Braun. <laughs> He's going to be out there leading the fight against the White Walkers left-handed. My brother tells me to keep your mouth shut. He tells me you shit gold. <laughs> just like your father. What is wrong with them? Safe? I've never seen Valerian steel before. She's a beauty. If you fight with an edge blade... I'll have to. And if I fight with an edge blade, I'll have no one left to pay me. I haven't used a sparring sword since I was nine. I was about to say they're going wooden swords. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Ah! Dang. Oh, you are attacking a man when his guard's down. Time to attack a man. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of coach is he? I still have my right hand. Plan on growing it back. Dang. That hand's going to sink him, too, if he falls in. Mm hmm. Come on. He's not doing that bad, I guess, if he's like, well, maybe. Left-handed, yeah, I got my face cut open. Yeah, because, I, yeah, it would have been a lot worse for me. The Boltons look like a a worse-off Winterfell, don't they? Ugh, they just look... Like a leather, like a hell-on-wheels Winterfell. They, nope. they eat that hook caps, too. Yeah. <laughs> Father, don't worry about that. Welcome home. <laughs> Walter, this is Ramsay Snow, my bastard. A pleasure, mother. Hello. That the she's afraid. Watered. Take Lady Walder to her chambers. You see her thing with Theon on it? No. Her, on her necklace right here, it was Theon. It's not Theon. That's yeah. their house sigil. I know. I, their house sigil's that? Yeah. It's someone upside down tortured? It's an X, yeah. Bro, okay, it's not guys. Just Theon. I, didn't, I didn't realize that was their house sigil, dude. I thought that that was them just mocking Theon. Because you know how they're just like right. humiliating No, him. no, no. But you remember. Yeah, see, he has it too. But you remember, you remember how he said that if he married a Frey girl, he could whichever one he'll give him her weight in silver that's why he married the, the yeah yeah i knew that one. part right yeah so that's his <laughs> so sorry mother. guys yeah he said mother <laughs> i didn't like dub the guy a nickname and everything and i just i never realized no maybe I it's because his is so faded in but has he always worn this right here no, i haven't seen it but you know we've never really seen this but you know when rob had that little chess piece we both thought it was Theon, but it was actually the Bolton. I saw it when I was editing. Right, yeah, I saw right, it right. That's what I was thinking. I thought, because I was like, why is the show doing that? Right, we I both guess thought the, it was mocking Theon I, hard. I thought yeah. Rob was like partaking in the mock. Because right, he, like, because you know he was pissed yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I thought so too. So like the strung up. But no, whenever we saw Theon. on the um, beginning part, I saw on the edit, it showed the, what is it called? Is it Dreadfort? So it makes so much more sense why this dude just unhinged because yeah. this is just what they do yeah because even he i remember he made a dialogue thing at the beginning with rob he was like we you know i i could take care of him we mm. could torture him and then um rob's like no we don't do that they ruled that out when my dad was the rain so and now then, i feel dumb because the whole time 
if you're if you're Catelyn Stark and Rob, like you just look over, you're like, yo, what's up, Vlad Bolton? Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 I'm not rocking with you, bro. Like you have a whole man being tortured on your on your house thing. Mm -mm. Like that just gives it away that they're terrible. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, come on now, crazy. Where is your prize? With the hounds. I'll have a look at him. Why? Leave him alone. I hear you took a hand from the Kingslayer. Word travels. How he screamed. You would have loved it. They're psychotic. What did you do to him? I trained him. He was a slow learner. You flayed him. Peeled a few bits. Removed a few others. Mm. He's like me and you both, brother. <laughs> They've been great choice, son and heir. We've been flaying our enemies for a thousand years. The flayed man is on our banners. My banners, not yours. You're not a Bolton, you're a Snow. Oh, you're a bastard to remember that. Dang, hierarchy. Theon was a valuable hostage, not your plaything. I wanted to trade him for Moat Kaelin. I already asked. Lord Greyjoy refused. You send was... terms to Balin Greyjoy without my consent. Right, you better shut up. Lord of the Dreadful. I acted. A little authority and he sent him body parts. I had to smuggle myself into my own lands thanks to the Greyjoys. I needed Theon. Theon was our enemy. Drake. Drake will never betray us. Please do, Reek. I place far too much trust in you. Dang. Reek. How could you let me stand before my father and Shaven? Sorry, my lord. Give him the razor. Ricky better cut his neck. Is he doing this to show that he won't betray him or something? Yeah. Bolton, father. I feel like that's what this is. Well, I mean, yeah, but he's surrounded. He's not a kamikaze. He's Theon. He's Go made on, a, He's made too many mistakes. Nice, close shave. Where are Bran and Rickon Stark? Don't know, my lord. You murder them and display their corpses at Winterfell. Rick. Not quite. Did you murder the Stark boy? No, my lord. They were farmers, my lord. Two farm boys. And crisped them so no one would know. Yes, my lord. Uh oh. The Starks have always ruled the North. Now that Bob Stark is gone. Oh. He didn't know. That's right. Oh. Brother, brother, brother. Rob Stark is dead. So are you. Oh, I forgot he doesn't have any no, nuts. Like brother to you. Is that what it did it? But my father put a knife through his heart. Oh. Mm. He's like, that could be me though, you know? You ready for a hunt? Always. Find those boys and I'll give you a thousand acres and a hole first. John Snow's at Castle Black. <gasps> Shh. Who Be the quiet. Fuck's John Snow. <laughs> Their bastard brother. You may know where they are. Yeah, go on. Go ahead. He doesn't. You want to prove yourself a Bolton? Gather whatever men you can and ride for Moat Kalen. Bring this creature of yours. <laughs> He's like, got one. <laughs> got one. <laughs> Take the moat for the family. Don't even seem like that. I don't like it. Better reconsider your position. So he's about to go prove himself, I guess. He's a little... She has been noticed. Sansa's maid saw you with her. It's only a matter of time before your father hears. Oh, no. So I'm guilty of being seen with my own wife's handmaid. Her father will ask you if there's anything more, and you'll tell him some clever lie. No, I will not. How long do you imagine your father and sister would let me live if they suspected me of lying? Forgive me if I don't weep for you. Dang. Weeps for spiders or whores. I have friends across the sea who could help her. She won't leave. I've told him this is a dangerous place so many times she no longer believes it. Your father has promised to hang the next whore he finds you with. Have you ever known your father to make an idle threat? Never. And then he bows. He's like, with all due respect. <laughs> one of those. Honor to present you with this wedding cup. May you and my daughter Marjorie drink deep and live long. That's so Lena, son. King's Landing is so nice, though. Uh oh. She's the whore I told you about. The dark head. I was brought to the Tower of the Hound before the wedding. Did he hear that? And they'll really do it to her. Book? The lives of four kings. A book every king should read. Now that the war is won, we should all find time for wisdom. Thank you, Uncle. Wow. <laughs> that PR's paying off. He's, he's going to shove that book right up One of only two Tyrion's of butt when he gets a chance. Uh-oh. He, he's giving it to Joffrey? Oh, he's so hype about an ink sword. <laughs> oh, careful, your grace. Nothing cuts like Valyrian steel. So they say. <laughs> that book. <laughs> there is no way. Such a great sword should have a name. What shall I call her? Stormbringer! <laughs> Terminus. Widow's Whale, I like that. Widow's Whale. <laughs> Every time I use it, it'll be like cutting off Ned Stark's head all over again. You Widow's didn't do it, though. Whale. You didn't do it, you little punk. Right. Always just have it, Sansa. 24-7. <laughs> I thought we had some character development. Like, Joffrey's evil, but in more of a diplomatic type of way. That actually helps. He was cutting wisdom Don't. out there. What's wrong, my lion? Don't call me that. Should I call you? I'm afraid our friendship can't continue. Our friendship? 
There's a ship waiting in the harbor bound for Pentos. You'll have your own cabin, of course, and across the narrow sea, a house. Servants. What is this? Married man. My wife has suffered a great deal, as you well know. I don't want her to suffer any more on my account. I need to uphold my vows. She doesn't want you. Need you don't to do want right by her. her. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid. You are. She is really You're slow. You're afraid of like... your father and your sister. She just loves them. I'm not afraid of them. I'm not going to run she... from them. We'll fight them together. It's like you said. I am yours and you're mine. You're a whore. Sansa is fit to bear my children, and you are not. He doesn't want her to go. Well, yeah, before. like he's lying to her, but like... How many men have you been with? 500, 5,000? She just won't accept the truth, though. Them, and I have enjoyed my time with you, most of all. But now that time is over. He's trying to save her life. I know. And he has to be hard because she won't go if he doesn't. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're going to kill you, Shay, and she just will not learn. <laughs> she's going to, like, have to die to <laughs> learn this lesson. I'm she's learning very slow. Pentos. Bron will escort you to your ship. Jeez. He just didn't even say anything. He just still got he got his face turned around. Yo, just so my lady so my lady people ain't mad at me. I'm a hundred percent with Shay here. Hundred percent. But I'm just saying, like, dude, she doesn't understand the magnitude of Tywin Lannister the way that I do. Like he will strangle you up and fillet you, bro. And Ramsey Bolton's been on the screen, so I'm just feeling like you gotta get out of there. Cause I don't wanna see somebody else just get carved up. And he's such a main character on such a character arc that I feel like the perfect thing for him in the show would be to just absolutely murder the woman he loves in the worst possible way. We ain't trying to have all that. And it would hurt Sansa if she had to get killed because that's Sansa's closest person Except to her. It's going to hurt her that she has to leave. Right, and then the next person to get killed is Sansa. Oh my gosh. I saved you well. Lord of light, show us the way. Lead us from the darkness. Oh my gosh. Those are the stars that guide us. Lord of light, protect us. For the night is dark and full of terrors. <laughs> see, like, what's up with this? Did you see? Their soul was their souls. Our Lord took them, did you see? He doesn't look like he's seen it, <laughs> does he? No. Lord Florin was your brother by law. He was an infidel. I ordered him to tear down his idols. He disobeyed. How many ships did he bring to your course? How many men? A good deal more than you. Dang. Did you see, Sir Davis? They're with our Lord now. Their sins all burnt away. Did you see? Sure, they're more than grateful, my queen. What do we do here, guys? When you're in a cult, how do you get them out? Leads off. Our larders are almost empty. Serve fish, then. We're on an island. When Storm's End was under siege and I was starving, Dennis boiled soup for me from books. Binding glue is made from horses. Ugh. Do you remember? Of course I remember. Have you ever known true hunger, my lady? That's all I knew when I was a child. Until he found the Lord of Light. Until he found me. I fear for our daughter's soul. Every mother should fear for her child's soul. She's a stubborn little beast. She's a child. You barely know her. He thinks she's sweet because she smiles when you visit. Why else would the Lord of Light have seen fit to mark her face? She needs the rod. She's my daughter. You will not strike her. As you command. Perhaps the Lady Melisandre could speak with her. Are they implying what I think they're implying right now? I don't know. I'll, I'll never say it, guys. I'm so sorry. He was saying, like, oh, I'm sure they thank you because they were saying, like, they they were cleansed of their sins by, like, burning them. And you can see their souls and all. And Sir Davos made that statement. And now they're talking about how she needs to be cleansed. I don't know. The mom? I you think, get what I'm saying? I think maybe the mom might have extreme measures, but I think that they're just going to have Melisandre talk to her. I don't Sorry, think it's, I don't think it's that serious right now. I don't think so. Come in. Well, she, no, the mom, like, made it seem that way. I think the mom is just in the cold. Are you sleeping, princess? Did you watch the ceremony on the beach? I heard it. And it frightened you? They're in a better place now, princes. The fire cleansed them of the sins of the world. But they screamed. Women scream when they give birth. Afterwards, they are filled with joy. Afterward, they aren't ash and bone. You have so many questions, don't you? I was much like you, only it wasn't a princess. And you didn't have this? No, but I suffered another way, sweet girl, believe me. What do you know of the gods? I read the seven-pointed star. A god of light and love and joy, and a god of darkness evil and fear eternally at war then there are no seven heavens and no seven hells there's only one hell princess the one we live in now oh do i put stock into that or is she just an absolute crazy person does she think she's fighting for a better life <laughs> this is the bad life well i mean in a way she's not wrong because she's She's saying that like everyone thinks that like what they want on you know in this earthly experience is good because of like, power and stuff. And she's like, which, I don't know, dude. it's just weird. Don't worry about it. Hold on. <gasps> That's a good way to hunt. Why did you wake me? You've been gone for hours. I was hungry. We're all hungry. Summer was eating. Not a dire wolf, Bran. Must be glorious, though, to run 
to leap, to hunt, to be whole. Right, because he can't walk, so he probably wants to be there a lot. Mm -hmm. If you're trapped in summer for too long, you'll forget what it was to be human. You'd forget us, Bran. You'd forget your mother and father. You'd forget your brothers and sisters. You'd forget Winterfell. Maybe he's trying to. You'd forget you. And if we lose you, we lose everything. So they have a cause for him. A it's just purpose. not been explained that well. <laughs> right, right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, every time it comes on, I'm just like. <laughs> every time they're here, we're just like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta go north. Whatever you guys say. Three-Eyed Raven. Maybe, I mean, they have explained a little bit. He's got to find the Three-Eyed Raven. What if it's Manta Raider? It could be. Hold on. Take me to the tree. Those leaves are insane. <laughs> it's in a dungeon? Is that Ned? Look for me beneath the tree. Whoa, Khaleesi saw that. He saw us. Yo, oh. like a dragon shadow. Khaleesi saw all that stuff during that like sacrifice stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about the uh, the <laughs> shadow part, I guess. No, but King's Landing. Brand's going south. Dude, this no is wonder insane. they didn't explain going north that well. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I just always see Cersei calling her a harlot. <laughs> right, yeah. This wedding is kind of fire, though. I know. I Her I mean, um, outfit is amazing. I love it. Look at her little, like, Baratheon-ness in it. It's pretty cool. Let it be known that Marjorie of House Tyrell and Joffrey of the Houses Lannister and Baratheon are one heart and flesh, one soul. Cursed be he who would seek to tear them asunder. There's that dude. With this kiss, I pledge my love. They didn't have to say all those nouns like father, mother, sister. Look at this here. <laughs> yeah, that would have been Sansa. <laughs> Maybe that guy's gonna kill her. Bit much for oh, like, get at Joffrey. Yeah, proportionate. Proportionate to what? The expected extravagance. You ought to try enjoying something before you die. You might find it suits you. Not now, Mace. Lord Tywin and I are speaking. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what you're complaining about. I'm paying my share. Do we stick golden roses and half the meat pies to commemorate your generosity? Your heartfelt thank you is its own reward. Wars are rather expensive. The Iron Bank will have its due. How they love to remind everyone. Uh -oh. Almost as much as you Lannisters with your death. I'm not worried about the Iron Bank. We both know you're smarter than that. Come, Tywin, let us celebrate young love maybe we should like ship them two getting together what a power couple that would be yeah i had the thought because they're both so old and wise yeah but i think they'd bicker yeah <laughs> they'd probably kill each other and you saw the ship sail away no one knows she's there but you me and Varys. she's gone i know you don't want to believe it but she is well, he's you were that exquisite child i haven't had the opportunity to tell you how sorry i was to hear about your brother war is war but killing a man at a wedding horrid what sort of monster would do such a thing perhaps if your pauper husband were to sell his mule and his last pair of shoes he might be able to afford to bring you to high garden for a visit they keep selling that peace thing but stannis is out there very good very good off you go what a crab. <laughs> the queen would like to say a few words. To thank the gods for bringing the recent war to a just end, King Joffrey has decreed that the leftovers from our feast be given to the poorest in his city. Aww. What an announcement. Great. Good job, Joffrey. Okay. <laughs> he did He's a little so shimmy. Proud. He was wow. like, yeah. Is I'm like, the king. Wow. You're an example to us. <laughs> what an example. Jeez. <laughs> Why is he staring at him like that? Why is Joel like this? <laughs> Jamie, I'm very sorry. Sir Lawrence, it's quite all right. Your sister looks very beautiful. As does yours. So, what are you, wedding? Yes. Oh, he's very pissed. Our fathers are both rather keen on the prospect. <laughs> they certainly are. Perhaps they should get married. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to marry Cersei, so she'd murder you in your sleep. Luckily for you, none of this will happen because you'll never marry her. And neither will you. <laughs> Low key though. <laughs> oh, there's Brienne. Uh oh. Your Grace, my King, my Queen, Lady Brienne. So good of you to come. I'm no lady, Your Grace. Didn't you just bow? You're the one who put a sword through Renly Baratheon. That's not true, my love. Brienne had nothing to do with it. Shame. At night, the man that put an end to that deviant's life. I just wanted to congratulate you both and wish you good fortune. The country has been at war too long. I hope your reign is long and peaceful. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I hope we see more of you. Love them. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Lady Brienne. Mm-mm. Leave her alone. Lord Selwyn Tart's daughter. That makes you a lady whether you want to be or not. As you say, Your Grace. 
I owe you my gratitude and my brother safely to King's Landing. Is she really grateful, though? Truth, he rescued me, Your Grace, more than once. Did he? Oh, no. I haven't heard that story before. Not such a fascinating story, I'm afraid. Sworn to Renly Baratheon, sworn to Catelyn Stark. And now my brother. Must be right. exciting to flit from one camp to the next, serving whichever lord or lady you fancy. Well, they Please keep dying. Serve your brother, Your Grace. Would you love him? <laughs> you might be right. Your Grace. Oh, I never got that vibe. <laughs> you didn't? No, I really didn't. But maybe it's because I didn't want The whole to. she's sitting there like tensing up in the hot tub, acting all weird. I mean, I don't want no one to see my... I never meant to annoy anyone. You are annoying me right now. Every breath you draw in my presence annoys me. Leave this wedding right now. Go to the kitchens and instruct them that all the leftovers from the feast will be brought to the kennels. Your Grace, <laughs> Queen Marjorie the queen said they were to be. The Queen is telling you the leftovers will feed the dogs. Oh, you will. Oh. So Cersei's just having like a freaking meltdown because her power's gone. Yeah, she's. she just said she's the queen. She's like not, she's not letting it go. She's getting too much disrespect. A gold dragon to whoever knocks my fool's hat off. <laughs> How do they all get like women's? Is he allowed to like run away or does he have to stand there? <laughs> in rather good mood. Small pleasures. Your Grace, Lord Tywin, <laughs> Prince Oberyn. I don't believe you have met Elaria. This is the Lord Han, Tywin Lannister, and Cersei Lannister, the Queen Regent. I suppose it is former Queen <laughs> Regent now. Elaria San. My lord, my lady. Once I've ever met a San before. We are everywhere in Dorne. I have 10,000 brothers and sisters. Bastards <laughs> are born of passion, aren't they? We don't despise them in Dorne. No, how tolerant of you. I expect it is a relief, Lady Cersei, <laughs> giving up your regal responsibilities. Wearing the crown for so many years must have left your neck a bit crooked. <laughs> it's a shame your older brother couldn't attend the wedding. Please give him our regards. Mm -mm, you don't want regards from him. Abate with time, and he'll be able to walk again. They call it the rich man's disease. People everywhere have their differences. In some places, the highborn frown upon those of low birth. In other places, the rape and murder of women and children is what a fortunate thing for you, former Queen Regent, that your daughter Marcella has been sent to live in the latter sort of place. Uh oh. Yeah. Everyone, silence. They have to be kind of nice. The floor. There's been too much amusement here today. A royal wedding is not an amusement. A royal wedding is history, my lords. Oh no, what's gonna happen? What in the heck is that big old lion thing? Oh my I gosh. give you King Joffrey, <laughs> Renly, Stannis, Rob Stark, Balon Greyjoy, the war of the five kings. What in the Did he say he was king of the north? <laughs> <laughs> Not the little one laughing. Yeah, he's sitting there eating it up. That's the future. Let the war begin! <laughs> Joffrey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that the first time. <laughs> Do you see that? Like, that's enough. Oh, that was Loris's man, too. You saw that? And this is making fun of Tyrion as well. I oh, was Stannis, yeah. Pay each of them 20 gold when this is done. <laughs> so he's just sort of at the point where he's just sick of Joffrey, right? Because mm -hmm. he's mocking him openly like this. <laughs> he's like, what the hell? <laughs> he just thinks that is hilarious. Everyone knows that's distasteful, but he's just eating it up. Here you are. Champion's purse. Though, you're not the champion yet, are you? A true champion defeats all the challengers. Surely there are others out there who still dare to challenge my reign? Uncle, how about you? I'm, I'm sure they have a spare costume. Disgusting, Joffrey. Oh, please slap One him. One taste of combat was enough for me, your grace. I'd like to keep what remains of my face. I think you should fight him. This was but a poor imitation of your own bravery on the field of battle. I speak as a first-hand witness. Climb Don't down say stuff like that. With your new Valerian sword and show everyone how a true king wins his throne. Be careful, though. This one is clearly mad with lust. It would be a tragedy for the king to lose his virtue hours before his wedding night. Dang. Wow. But good job, though, Tyrion. Until you're in a freaking dungeon. <laughs> but for now, good job. I just feel good for Sansa because you know she wants to say that. Mm -hmm. Look at Cersei, low-key kind of loving it. Fine vintage. Shame that it spilled. 
It's time for my father's toast. No, let's get out of here. Expect me a toast without wine. <laughs> Uncle, you can be my cupbearer, seeing as you're too cowardly to fight. Your grace does me a great honor. It's not meant as an honor. Oh, this is tense right now. I'm just scared he's gonna like do something crazy to Tyrion. Like he's so rash, this guy. No impulse control. You see what I'm saying? So disrespectful. Way to make your family outings awkward as mess, dude. Teamwork. Sansa, what are you doing, man? Like she doesn't want him to be under there struggling. It's embarrassing already. Well, I mean, what good is an empty cup? Kneel, kneel before your king. Oh my! I feel like just do it today, Tyrion. They're like getting married. Just do it. Just today. Look, the pie. <laughs> the whole kingdom's like, yeah. <laughs> Good job, Pi. Y'all could have came out like five minutes earlier, please. Look, Joffrey's gonna take the out. Tyrion, you are a bold dude, man. This is really starting to stress me out, bro. Like, Tyrion's... He's gonna cut it with the sword. <laughs> so great. Such a good job. My hero. That was all in the cake? He killed it? Let's find out. That was a dove? That's what they call Sansa. He said, this is nasty. Uncle. He didn't oh, have he's enough. He's still just mad. Yeah, he didn't have enough. Where are you going? You're my cup there, remember? I thought I might change out of these wet clothes, your grace. No, 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 no. Perfect the way you are. Serve me my one. Bro, they're just not going to let it go. No, because he's a jerk. And he has no one else to torture but him and Sansa. Pie is dry. Mm, good. If it please your grace, Lady Sansa is no. very tired. No, no. Wait here. <coughs> your grace. There's <coughs> nothing. <coughs> It's nothing. Uh, he's choking. Oh, he's choking on that cake. Uh, 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 idiots, help your king. Do the Heimlich. Nobody wants to help him. They're just gonna let him choke. Oh, oh Jamie. 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 Oh, Jeffrey. Oh. 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 What happened? He's poisoned. Jeffrey. Come with me now. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. If you want to leave, you have to leave. That guy was part of it. No. Oh Is my he gonna gosh. die? <laughs> oh my god. Someone got him. Where's he pointing? What? He didn't know, I swear. Right? Oh my god. Look at Joffrey, bro. Look at his eyes. He's dead. He's dead. He's poisoned. Oh my god. I don't know if it was the Kate. No. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm about to cry right now. It doesn't make sense. No, we didn't. Poison my son, your king. Take oh him. my gosh. Take him. Holy crap, dude. What in the world? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What else? Um, I really genuinely don't know why I'm crying. Um, I think I'm crying because like the realm is just really crazy right now like who's gonna be in charge who's gonna be responsible for that they're gonna try to blame it on Tyrion. i know it and Tyrion, genuinely in my eyes i don't know maybe there's something under he the seems scenes. shocked dude he yeah, really did. It yeah. seemed like he had no idea that was about to happen and i think that's why i'm so upset is because sansa can't catch a dang break like now oh, she'll be tortured for this yeah. cersei's gonna just let loose on sansa oh my gosh oh but did who was the the that guy the guy said like if you want to live come with me or something yeah right? so i don't know what's up with that man maybe she's making a run for it i don't know she can't go back to winterfell though no i don't know where I, she can go i, I don't know y'all this like opens up so much crazy stuff because um, i can't believe joffrey hold on joffrey's dead i haven't even where do we go from here i don't know like i don't know who takes over i don't know if it's gonna be tywin i don't know if they does the santa's automatically get it i don't know <laughs> like i really don't know who's in line joffrey's little brother or like Tywin could be it because he's a hand. Oh, because the little brother's too young. Yeah, like I think the little brother's very Maybe young. that's why they showed us a little glimpse of him being evil. Like, Remember? Yes. Because they're trying to, do you see what I'm saying? Yes, if he, but I think they have to wait a little bit, hopefully, right? They might like, put they, that little boy up there for real. They did it to real. Joffrey, they hey. did it to him. Holy crap. So basically guys, Everyone's sitting there thinking the war is over, but the war is not over. So if Tyrion didn't kill him, who killed him? I don't know. So in that in that regard, the war has just begun. The freaking the the Martell guy, obviously, right? You think so? Well, yeah, That's he came over there, there and, and he's been the like king. he's been like staring at them. And you know, guys, we they keep making references throughout the whole thing about Dornish wine and stuff. And that guy's from Dorn, so maybe he brought the wine 
And it was poisonous. And didn't they just show Khaleesi some flowers from across the way and they were poisonous, they mm-hmm. said? And they just randomly showed that to Khaleesi. Because I was thinking, like, why is poison that close to her, like, her mouth to begin with? Maybe they were setting all that up. That's why they were keep saying, like, like it's wedding season, blah, blah, blah. Because this is a second freaking wedding where something crazy just a twist has like, went down. I did not think that it would be that easy to get him poisoned. You know, the like weddings. That. This is a this is like what the third wedding in the show. And the the thing about the wedding is like in real life, the wedding like when you know when it gets close, you know people start stressing out and you can feel it coming like a storm. Mm-hmm. These weddings are just like we're just chilling. Next thing you know, and then boom, we're in a wedding. So it I just know. happens so fast. And this didn't happen in the wedding. It was in the after party, basically. And the reception. Joffrey died doing what he loves, man. He was mocking people and terrorizing people and just causing tyranny. And it's just, you know, it does bring me a little closure to see someone go doing what they love. So, hey, do you, what is your theory on it? If you had to say if you could pick the single handed. Well, person. I think we have another another player. And so this dude's the little brother. So big brother's. Big Brother, I don't know what the implication was. I think he's got a certain... I'll I'll tell you off camera, but I think he's got a certain thing wrong with him. And um, I don't want to get into all that on the camera, man. And I think that they're going to realize... I think Cersei's so emotional that she's going to have Tyrion whatever. I don't know if Tyrion can die in the show, if he's going to die. He's kind of giving me main character vibes Mm -hmm. at this point. I don't know. But I think that the guy from the other place, the brother or the dad or the uncle, we're going to meet someone. And, you know, this guy right here wants to fight the hound, he said. He wants to fight the hound. hound, Not the hound, the hound brother. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we're going to meet more characters. And I think that we've always known that Stannis is like a backseat character in Mm. terms of like his power position. And I think that he's going to because now he's the main contender. It's. It's the show versus Stannis, right? So it's King's Landing versus Stannis. Well, now the king's gone. Right. And so now it's completely different. So you would imagine Stannis would be like the main guy standing in Tywin. That's not a fight. I mean, Tywin, you know, I don't know, man. But my theory is basically the war is just not over. So we thought we had peace, but I'm catching the vibe of this show is basically going to be, obviously, it's just going to be one long continuous war and the story of how it played out like. I guess we're not going to, I mean, obviously there's going to be war because in shows there has to be some sort of conflict, babe, but mm. I'm saying like, there doesn't have to be like a necessarily a war. I thought we might actually move into peace times. I thought maybe we could wipe out Stannis and then move past right, the you think war. Stannis, but I, I, I don't think know. Stannis is like building something up for something crazy. I'm not really sure. Guys, hundred percent honest, man, is the reason that I hope they're not building some great thing up for Stannis is because I'm just not invested in him i'm not connecting with his character as hard right. as everyone else is so. i noticed in the comments though a lot of people said that stannis in the book is just like a g like you just like apparently he wasn't done correct justice but i i don't know well stannis just looks really weak because from the moment we've met him he's been manipulated by the red woman right so he just comes uh, yeah, across yeah, yeah. very weak so he comes across as just like literally he comes across obviously. someone who's in a cult like genuinely that's yeah, That's and what people I think who join cults aren't really like they're vulnerable. Like they're an vulnerable actual people. cult. Like yeah. I'm not saying what you don't like and you decide to call it a cult. I'm talking about like an <laughs> yeah. actual cult, guys. Like if you join a cult, you got something wrong with you. You're very weak minded. So um my thing though i was thinking about this because you know i wanted to blame the martels too because that's what their names a barian martel and then some bastard girl i don't know but i wanted to blame them too but then i got to thinking that they can't really they can't do that because they kind of are in peace with the Lannisters right now because they have the daughter. So I'm not sure who exactly partook in the wine, right. the source of the wine, the show. I think the show, I'll have to watch it, Batman. There might be there might be a scene where Joffrey's in Tyrion's face and there's someone right behind him just pouring right. something in the wine. Yeah. And when we just I'm editing, didn't catch I'm it. Right. Well, we might find it. But I didn't see any, <laughs> I didn't see like the origin of the wine. So it makes me think that whoever did it was up there. Yeah. Right. Like right. it was Colonel Mustard with a freaking candlestick in the library. You know what right. I'm saying? Like it was right. someone right there in the core. So because the, all the people right there, they wouldn't notice if someone went up and put something in there. Joffrey's attention was on Tyrion so hard. Mm-hmm. He didn't really get much time to do anything. I right. mean, obviously the implication would be that Tyrion done it. It would be obviously that he asked someone to do it on his right. behalf. But who would risk such a thing on behalf of right. Tyrion? Right, and that and that's why his I closest think, friend's Bronn, and he ain't risking nothing right. as a sellsword. So Tyrion was fed up, but at the end of the day, I can tell Tyrion also like, um, if you notice throughout the whole other seasons, he's always like going back to Sansa, and like he made a point even one time where he said Sansa's gonna be, he's gonna, she's gonna survive us all or something like that because she just knows how to play the game, and Tyrion's actually like starting to lessen. 
he's starting to lessen his ability to play the game because of how frustrated he is with Joffrey. But now that whole freaking dynamic is going to shift. I was going to say it's over, but it's not. It's going to shift to right. Cersei. Mm-hmm. So Cersei's going to be like against Syrian. What about Jamie? How is Jamie going to feel about He's his gonna little brother? He's going to be probably torn in between. You just asked me the question in this episode. Did you not? Was does Jamie know that Joffrey's his son? Did you or did you not ask yeah. me that? Yeah. Right. Sometimes when we're live guys, like it's hard to hear when she talks to me because I'm like an old man. She does a really good job. I can talk to her and she hears me and responds. She asks me questions and I'm just like uh huh uh huh because I just. <laughs> I'm just a dude, man. I don't know. But anyways, man, uh, I don't know how Jamie's going to feel about that because Jamie's rocked with his little brother pretty hard. Mm -hmm. And I thought that him and his brother were going to be, you know, they seem, you guys are trying to convince me that Jamie's a great character and that he's not the same as Cersei. So I was thinking like, okay, my theory working was Jamie's going to start becoming closer with Tyrion, especially now. And now they have like gave him the cold shoulder. And they also have something similar is they're both like seem less than in this world because of their disability. So you know, I thought all that was coming. I, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to play out. You know, he might not care. You know, he might not really care about what Cersei, you know, I, I don't know. That's a whole Does Jamie even like it. Cersei anymore? I don't know. I, I don't I just, know. I, I think Jamie does still like Cersei. He loves her. But when he come when he came back and she was like, you're too late, He was kind of, he's still going to kind of pursue it. But for her, he was too late. Yeah, you know, when you're like, man, I wonder if my old lady will leave me if I didn't make you know, three hundred thousand dollars a year, and I wasn't a doctor. Would she still love me? Well, for Jamie, the answer is not really. Right. right. You made your money with that sword hand, and yeah, I don't know. This this was just. I think. This it, was I think man. though, if you're looking at it though, Cersei was saying like she's mad at Jamie for leaving because when he did leave, she had to get put through all these traumatic things, and she's always just had him to like rely on, and for the first time, she had to face him by herself. You know, there's probably something to that, maybe. And and I get that. And there's probably, you know, some of that that's true for sure. But the way I interpret it personally was, dude, I don't care if you have to cut your hand off. I don't care what you have to do. I don't care about, you know, your place. You know, like Jamie has to make moral decisions too when he's in there. Like, does he kill people to get back to her? Does he, is it work? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's got to an answer for that in his, you know, in his own way. So Cersei said, damn all that. At the end of the day, like, I had to suffer because of you. And she's been in, in luxury, basically, mm-hmm. like considering everyone else in the realm. So she said, I have to suffer and you weren't there to fix it. So you're either going to serve me and you're either going to, you know, you're basically going to be my servant 300 percent and make sure that my life matters more than yours or you're nothing to me. And the best way I can hurt you is to cold shoulder you. And that's the ultimate cruelness. And there's nothing I can do that's more cruel than that. Mm-hmm. And that's but what I I'm think she'll be vulnerable now that Joffrey's dead and go towards him. That's what I think. That's just my theory, guys. I don't know, man. I mean, we're just interpreting it the way we see it. But guys, that was that was crazy. That was that was I can't almost, believe it. Like I thought that like with Rob, like water fray, you broke your oath. Oaths, you know, some men take oaths more serious than others. You know, we've had these discussions throughout the thing. So that was shocking, but it made sense. I was like, I see. This was just this came out of left field, dude. I just haven't I don't know who to blame. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Am I happy they did it? Who's next? Dude. Where do we go? If Tywin's in control, are we going to be like, I don't even know. Are we going to be like a dictatorship? The reason that, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. There's so it many questions. It kind of already is, isn't it? Because it's like a king. Oh, it's a dictatorship. Yeah, yeah 300%. But, um, <laughs> you know, man, basically, it just really sucks that Joffrey's gone to me. You know, when we lose people in these episodes, I've yet to really, like, celebrate. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I mean, I'm like, not really celebrating victories. for which is weird. Like, I don't want Joffrey to be there. But you understand at the, the same complexity time. of the world, right? right? And like, you understand that not like you're not necessarily mourning for Joffrey because screw Joffrey. You're mourning for the fact that the realm is further thrown into chaos, right? Because right. because even though Joffrey was there, it was still kind of like Tyron. Tywin was behind everything, so like. If you put anyone else there, is Tywin still going to have the same ability to be behind it? Well, if you put anyone else there, does Cersei get involved? If you put anyone else there, you know what I'm saying? Like, What did Marjorie's grandmother say? Sometimes it's better to have the really expensive wedding because sometimes the people just need to like they need to be distracted. Meaning like to expand, meaning like, you know, like the government sucks, like everyone mm-hmm. hates the government, like everyone hates the government. But dude, if the government just disappeared, like it would be so much more chaotic. Like in an ex- you know, a lot of people probably argue against that, and there's a lot of ways it'd probably be a lot simpler, you know, 100. Mm-hmm. But you know, 
if the king just disappears, it, everyone's thrown into chaos. Even if the king's terrible, at least there's a power structure and people right. fall into line and society can move forward. Right, Even if it's not the best society. If you don't have that, then you're kind of stuck, stuck wondering what do we do? And then right. in some form or fashion, people are going to gather to be the person in charge. There's never going to be just like, I mean, I guess. We don't yeah. know. I mean, I'm just doing the best I can to just, you know, interpret it the way I see right. it. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I don't know what people would do if there was no government. I've never lived in that Me world. Either. I don't know but what I'm talking what about. What I'm saying so. is I just think that without it, they would just like, it, it would be you hard. Would imagine, to, right? it, would go, it would be hard to go back into it. You know what I'm saying? If you But if you at the same it. time, man, people adapt and move on and make new normals extremely, yes, extremely fast. Like before you know it, guys, literally in the blink of an eye, everyone will be walking around with a headset on and it will be completely normal. And this episode was just mind blowing, man. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought when you first seen it. Let me know what you guys think now. I know it's been a long time, but yeah, what were your theories? Can you just tell us your theories at the time? Like, please don't. Which be moment spoilers. shocked you yeah. more, man? Was it the Reigns of Casimir episode, the Red Wedding, or was it this episode where Joffrey just right? Oh, oh I meant gosh. to say about that. You know, Lord Bolton. We learned something about him today is that he kind of gave his son too much power, and he realized that it kind of effed him because. Now he's going to have issues with Theon's dad. Yeah, another case of just an overambitious son who basically doesn't understand the... It's the next generation. They like didn't fight for any of that stuff before with the wars, so right. they don't know anything. So they're over here knowing all this family drama and just like acting accordingly. Well, you notice the men that are older who's been through it, they handle themselves... They're not about they're not about idle threats. They handle themselves through actions and they're extremely right. stoic. Right. The younger generation in this episode, even though they're extremely tough and brutal, don't get me wrong. It's like who's ever the best warriors, the they're best egotistical. King. Yeah. Right. Best warrior, best king in like Ned generation. But then when you have Joffrey's generation, it's like I was born for this position. Right. By birth. It's just unearned. Right. right. Like Joffrey By thinks birth. because he graced the battlefield, he walks around and literally tells himself that he's something he's not. And he actually seems to convince himself of that mm -hmm. so but yeah you're right it seems like the newer generation in this episode they have this sense of like it's my right to like earn this respect but like they don't realize that everyone in their family up until this point has really had to like earn it yeah you know what I'm saying? the like, game of thrones is for anybody anybody right. who can take it it's for you right 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 yeah i mean you know um there's a lot of money in this kingdom. Mm. And you know what happens when societies get really rich. We just start finding all these problems and things to complain about. And there's a lot of truth to that in this, too. And it seems to be kind of the case. They're rich, but it's inflation. They're inflating a lot. Mm. And the politics of this is insane, man. Uh, just let me know what you guys think. And First with that watch. being said, with that, that you just said that, maybe that makes the Tyrells kind of like a mess. Because you're right, there's inflation. They kind of brought like all this stuff directly to them. And it's kind of like sketchy. Well, they're they're hedging against the future, like I think they want people to turn on the Lannisters eventually. Like they're well, yeah, they're tired of the Lannisters having all these problems and sucking their money. Right. Now, you see how like everyone everyone's flask is made of gold. There, I mean, mm -hmm. that gets expensive. Like you don't have to drink out of gold. Well, but she's don't. the one who wanted the extravagant wedding. But I think she wanted the extravagant wedding so they could feed the poor for the. She rapport. wanted an extravagant wedding so she could get Joffrey murdered. Or that she wanted, she was insisting on a big old show. Yeah, she wanted a true. big old show, bro. but I, she wanted. I, I thought it was so they could feed the poor. She after. wanted. She wanted. She wanted people out there. She wanted people out there putting on plays and juggling fire and 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 walking in wolf's mouth and and she wanted the whole nine. So that way, when all these distractions go, which normally it's not like that. So you think it was the Tyrells? I think now. it might have. Well, I've always. Bro, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just, you know, when they've been pointing them out as a second place team, I've always been waiting for something. They to got that pop free disease where they're like, man, I'm tired of being looked down. Right. right like right. second place, my ass. Like, like we we're, carry we're providing place. everything. Yeah. We carry everything about this kingdom, and you guys are just going to let. You're right. That is. You good. get what I'm saying? But man? the, like, the only know. thing is the execution of that. I just don't see it. I don't see her, or I don't see Marjorie doing that without anyone noticing. Marjorie, man, comes across as like. I don't know, dude, because Marjorie seems like someone who she's playing the game, man. But the thing is, the question becomes like, is it like like she's definitely the less of two evils is what I'm trying right. to say. But she seems like a good person. But, but at the same but time, now if you're she playing the game, has two dead argue. husbands who are both like kings. What does that look like on her part? Yeah. Exactly. Like, if you think about I didn't that, even think about that. Yeah. If you think There's about so that. Much. Oh, my God. Where does she go next? She's kind of like a suspect at this point. You she's know? stuck between a rock and a hard place. Right. At this she's point. a suspect at this point. I don't know. This is uh, confusing, man. There's a lot of things to think this about. This is getting intense. Shay got shipped off. Um, Tyrion oh, yeah. was asking. 
did she really get shipped off? And Ron's like, I know you don't want to believe it, but she did. So I don't know, man. I, what we've learned is when they don't really show it on the screen, we always leave that door open. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So she, she could be there. She could not. I personally hope she left because, man, I just don't want to see her get filleted. Like, this show is really traumatic. Right. And I could see them just tying tearing up, just setting them down on a chair and just doing her like they did Theon, man, right. and making them watch. And I'm just not trying to see stuff like that. I'm tired of seeing characters get hurt, especially characters who aren't trying to play the game. That's the thing. But, but in a sense, she is because she's really trying to right. be with Tyrion. And it's like, if you were smart, you would just leave, like get away from that. Like, is, right. is it worth it? You know? Right. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, she might have some um, ambitions that we don't know about. That's what I'm saying. And right. if she does, if she's gone at this point, it's like, is was that it for her character arc? Like, was that it? I don't know. Did she come like, in just know. to like show you that Tyrion's capable of love just to leave? Just right. To, like, like maybe maybe it was know. like an ode to the book readers or something to put her in. That was know. another storyline that I feel like we're really getting away away from, and I wanted to mention it, but I forgot what I was gonna say. Is it Sansa? Is it Ramsay? Is it um, Jon no. Snow? I don't know, man. I'll think about it, but let John me know, Snow guys. Survived. That's all I'm saying. He he was at trial to get his head cut off. But what was the storyline that we're getting away from? There's some storyline we're getting away from. Are you? Oh no no no! The faceless, the faceless, uh, the the guy who's like who said, how do I word it, man? The guy who will kill people for you. The guy who they can change their face apparently. Oh yeah, Jack. The faceless Jackin. guy. Yeah 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 yeah. We're getting away from that a little bit because she's not. With that dude anymore she's like on a whole different journey now she's with the hound she mm -hmm. used to like be with yeah. hot pie and them right and so we're sort of getting away from that so doesn't he still owe her some kills well she said that's why she might have that coin still i don't know she had it and and he said if he ever if she ever needs him to go with that coin so maybe like in a later season she'll use the coin but i, I thought about that in the first episode when i realized the guy was recast and then that's when i remembered and i was like dude we're kind of getting away from that but i didn't want to say right. anything yeah maybe we'll come full circle with it yeah what was up with that recast by the way like uh it, it i think the reason why it was confusing that recast is because the dudes are just kind of opposite people well you're i thought we were going for like a certain look you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the, we're the, going for like a long hair, kind of like almost red haired features, but not quite. Right. And, he, and they have this like big, strong cheek, like like they're from a certain yeah, spot. Basically. Uh, yeah. Like, look, I get what you're saying. Just like in Lord of the Rings, the elves all kind of have the same vibe. You're talking about they're that like guy. the same race. Yeah I, yeah, I get that. But I don't get why um, they recasted him. And then like, I don't know. Casting they made him as like a freaking a guy who would sell me freaking pancake syrup commercials or some crap they got look like you'd be on like a like a as seen on tv commercial right i, I mean it, they just went with a different vibe and that that made it confusing he was know. the guy from i don't know if y'all ever seen that show but home improvement you know the guy uh, I don't know. one of the guys on there he looked like that yeah he didn't look anything similar, right like not even right. at all like you would think they would at least go get like the dude from nickelback or something and he was like a, the guy before was like obnoxiously like flirtatious with khaleesi and this guy was like kind of more like, like channeled back in a way yeah it was yeah. like here's some flowers girl the other one would have been like wrapping her up you know what i'm saying the other guy would be like sit on my knee while yeah. I stroke you I yeah stroke like you. so i don't know i don't know if like what the vibe of that was like right was it from from like they, they didn't like the way the guy portrayed it or i don't know man but like comment subscribe turn on the notifications hit us up on patreon if you guys want more october guys we really do you know we do it big over there uh 